All right, welcome back everybody. Um, if you're watching this video, you've probably watched some of the other uh, Flashaholics Anonymous videos. And uh, so if you have been watching this series, as I just knock my pouch into my, my lap, uh, if you have been staying tuned and checking out the series, we, we just kind of go over the problem that is flashlights, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, and you know, this is, this is a place, this is a safe place. We can all talk about our, our flashlight addiction here. So what we're going to talk about today is kind of the culmination of all the, all the previous episodes. And we're going to just kind of talk about the journey and, uh, you know, the easiest journey to talk, for me to talk about is going to be my journey. So this is going to be a little, probably a little bit different than everybody, uh, depending on where you're at in the, you know, the flashlight journey, if you are just starting off, I hope the previous videos have been a little bit of help to you. Uh, there is a lot more to come as far as your journey is going to go. And whether you're in the middle or towards the end of the journey, uh, hopefully you learn a little bit of something, but I am sure that you are going to relate to probably some of the things that I'm going to say. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, when you talk about the flashlight journey, Let's let's think back to some of the some of the previous episodes. So, when we're talking about this, when you first start off, probably the biggest thing that you're going to be looking at is price. We did talk about price. So, you know, you're like, "All right, well, I'm getting into this EDC world. I want a nice flashlight." And you get online and you look at all these videos of people posting, you know, videos, uh, reviews of flashlights or Instagram photos of all these flashlights. And you find that one that you're like, man, that's a nice flashlight. I want that. What is that? And then you do all this research and you, you, you look online, you go through forums, you look through YouTube videos and then you find it and then you find the name and you're like, yes. So you Google it, you get to the website and it's $500 <laughs> and you're like, okay, so what can I get that is looks like this, but it's cheaper? So price is probably the biggest thing that the biggest roadblock that you're going to hit when you first get started on this journey. And then you start looking at other things. You start figuring out, you know, what's, what are the features that I want or what are the brands or what's that, you know, so you, you start looking at, okay, so this is, uh, you, we're just going to throw something out there. This is an Akluma. And Aklumas are expensive, and they have that word custom next to it. So what is what is another brand that looks or feels or is as bright as this $500 flashlight? And then so you start kind of researching brands, and you start figuring out, okay, well, these brands are solid. There's a lot of videos on the internet about these brands. You know, you got Olight. Most people are probably going to end up with Olight being their very first stop. It just, that's, that's, that is what it is. Olight's got a ton of, I've got two Olights here on the table. Um, or you might end up at Robivon. You, you know, you might end up at one of these guys and it might be because the reviews are amazing and they also make really small lights and that appeals to a lot of people. You could end up at Emilent because Emilent makes some of the brightest flashlights that you could possibly buy, but their stuff is really good too. Or you might find the more obscure flashlights like Fireflies. Because you're looking for, you know, something to fit into that, that void in your heart because you had, you were so set on that one flashlight you saw on the Instagram photo. You were so set on that Akluma and then found out it's way out of your budget or more than you're just willing to spend because it's a flashlight. And why do you need to spend a ton of money on a flashlight? Um, you know, I've got an e e e blah, 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 e tech here on the table. That is honestly one of my favorite flashlights ever. I, I think it's an amazing flashlight and they're relatively inexpensive. It's like 60 bucks. Um, so, you know, you, you start, you start figuring out those brands and then once you get through the brand portion of it, you're like, okay, so that flashlight that I wanted was titanium, but it wasn't any kind of titanium. It was polished or it was stonewashed or timascus. And then, so you start peeling through those brands, trying to find, you know, what, what that 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 has essentially become your it factor because you saw that one flashlight that looked so good and you had to have it and then realize it was more than you're willing to spend so now you're looking for cheaper flashlights that are on brands that you trust that have that same it factor mm, usually not going to happen 
I, I don't, I'm not trying to bust any bubbles, but it's, 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 it's not going to happen. And if you know, if any part of this journey sounds like I'm talking directly to you, it's pretty much because all of us, all of us pretty much do the same thing at some point. And I've said this, I've said this before, at some point it becomes a, you won't until you will factor. And, um, that's, that's, that's just one of those things. Once, once you, once you break the veil, it's kind of like drinking. Once you break the seal, you, if you, anybody out here drinks a little bit of beer here and then you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Once you break that seal and you go outside of the comfort zone and you finally get one of those, one of those super overpriced flashlights that, you know, you, you pull out of your pocket because you got to look somewhere that barely needs any light and you, you light up this $500 flashlight and everybody around you is like, that's a nice flashlight. And you're like, yeah, buddy, I've had this thing for a whole entire year. You, you know, you, you just, you just know it's, it's, it's all part of the journey. And, uh, you know, I've got some of my favorite lights on the table. This is, this is a pack, you know, this is my, um, Oh God, what is this thing? The alpaca admin pouch, something hub pouch. I think it's a hub. I know it's not the hub. Uh, regardless, we're not talking about alpaca. This video is not for you. <laughs> we talk about alpaca a lot. Today's not the day. So, um, I carry a flashlight in my pocket, but this goes in my bag with me everywhere I go. Why? I don't know. I honestly, I don't, what do I need? Maybe two flashlights would be more than enough. I mean, one is probably more than enough, but I carry like four. <laughs> just you can't ever have too many flashlights so you know just busting out a couple more of my favorites that this little bag goes in my 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 big bag carry a little bag in my big bag so here here's some more flashlights and um like i said it, it's it's one of those things so talking about my journey is i started off like everybody else just like the same person I was just talking about in the very beginning of this video because it was kind of me. And, you know, getting online, finding pictures, people posting pictures of their EDC. You know, most people most people probably have seen the best damn EDC or seen Taylor Martin on here. And that's probably what kicked you off into that world. And you see him talk a lot about Roby Vaughn. Um, you know, a lot of the custom, a lot of the custom flashlights that you probably watched the video on and then you went and googled it and then realized it was more money than you're willing to spend and then you know a couple months later now you've got this massive collection of flashlights and the cheaper flashlights just don't do it for you anymore they just sometimes they just don't do it they don't scratch that itch and that's what comes down to it was like video two maybe or three it comes down to brands because then you're like okay let me, let me branch out. Let me look at other brands and see if I can just find that one flashlight that I just, you know, I have a million flashlights in my collection, but I just don't have that one. I just don't have the one. So let me tell you about the one flashlight that you're constantly looking for. It's, it's like this with anything, a knife, a bag, it, it, literally any, any kind of hobby you're into. If you have a bunch of one thing and you're looking for that one to scratch that itch, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. There isn't one. There isn't just the one. You don't just, you know, you don't just collect a hundred flashlights and go, you know what? I'm going to buy my grail. It's like collecting knives and then finally buying your, your Chris Reed, your, your Umnum's on, or, you know, whatever your Microtech ultra tech or whatever, whatever's on your, you know, the, what is it? The alpha beast. They're coming out with a magna cut that I'm mm, gotta have it. But it's, it, it's once you buy that and you're like, ah, I'm complete for about a week. <laughs> that's, that's about as far as you're going to get with that. You're, you're, you're going to scratch that itch and then it's not going to go away. And then you're going to look for the next best thing. And you know, I could, I could, I could go on and on about that because the it factor, I mean, God, car audio or modifying your vehicles or just anything and everything you always have to scratch that itch and it's always changing and it's and you're sometimes you're changing things you've already changed so pricing and brands that is going to be the very beginning of your journey and the pricing is the, I, I swear the pricing for everybody is the very first step it, it is I, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that 
there is a difference between a $20 flashlight, a $60 flashlight, a $100 flashlight, a million dollar flashlight. Every time you level up, every time that you go spend the experience points you've been saving up and you level up and you go on to the next stage of your flashlight, flashaholic problem that you have, you will notice a difference. They are, they are not all built equally. I, I, I promise you that. And it took me far too long to figure that out. And, you know, that's like the first couple stages. And, you know, once you, once you, the, the, here's the real problem. Brands, I, I don't think brands is a problem. I think pricing is the problem. And I think that that is why we have these flashaholic anonymous videos because pricing, we spend a lot of money on flashlights. I know I do. Anybody else who has a flashlight collection, even if you just collect every single Olight that comes out, you are spending a ton of money on flashlights. And I am not saying that's a bad thing because I buy something on every single Olight sale. And I have, I mean, Olight, Olight is like Apple for the flashlight world. Olight is constantly dropping new models. They're constantly dropping new specs and new this and new that. And I know it. I know it's a marketing game. I don't care. I need to have them anyways because that's part of the problem is I need to have every single one of them. But it is what it is, you know. This is this is what we get into once you start once you get out of your pricing, once you get out of the pricing bubble, once you lower the shield, let people through the wall, let the price just flood in there and let the money just let the money fall out of your wallet. Don't do that. That is terrible advice. Don't, don't ever do that. But but once you get through that 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 price barrier that you have, um, you'll start to slow down, and that's that's where this is going. So, listen 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 to my words. Listen to someone who has been on the journey, and I promise anybody else watching this video, they've probably been through the same journey with you, or with me, or with anybody else, and they can lend an ear, lend a hand, and tell you the same advice. Let the pricing bubble go sooner than later. You know, we talked about, we talked about brands. Brands is a big thing. You know, I'm a Lumen Top boy. I love my Lumen Tops. I love my O-Lights. Um, I love my Ray Lights. I, I kind of love all of them. But these are some of my favorite brands here on the table. Um, and I think, I think as far as like copper goes, I think O-Light, Lumen Top, Ray Light, Robivon, I think those are like your top ones. They make some of the best copper lights. Lumen tops a little all over the place when it comes to copper. I think I think sometimes they use different quality copper. I kept these two by each other so you could get a pretty fair comparison here. We can see two different shades of actual copper going on there. And it's not just a patina. Um, this was definitely a more deep red than this guy was whenever I received them. And then as they patina, you can see the difference. And that's something I've learned by just, you know, getting different models from the same same brand but going back to the going back to the pricing and the budget thing no one nobody nobody in this entire world will ever tell you to spend outside your budget because that's not smart and frankly with the day and times that's that's pretty unsafe don't don't spend money you don't have also don't count on money you don't have so don't 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 you know go on a firm or paypal and finance a flashlight because you're like i'm gonna get a big bonus next month don't ever do that either that's such a bad thing to do I've, I was always taught don't count on money you don't have. It's just, it's just, it's just smart thinking, man. I promise. But um, lower that pricing bubble. So the reason why I say that is once you stop buying the cheap flashlights, your taste will level up. It's kind of like drinking wine. You're, you're leveling up. You can't drink gas station wine anymore. You can't. You, you, you can't drink the boxed wine. You're, you're too refined. You're too, you're too meh to be able to buy those cheap ones. Now, I do appreciate a cheap flashlight every now and then. Nothing against cheap flashlights. But here, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing about that. You will be in this twirling vortex of buying cheap flashlights until you just buy one expensive one. Just one. Just and by expensive, I don't mean go out and buy an Akluma. I don't mean go out and spend you know four or five, six hundred dollars. Buy you a decent, a really decent. I mean, I mean this. This isn't the most carryable flashlight in the entire freaking world. I 
I pocket carry this from time to time. It's not that big. It is big, but it is not that big. Or, you know, just something like the LM10. The LM10, the LM10 is such a good flashlight. Oh, my God. Such a good flashlight. But, you know, the LM10 is just shy of $100. The FW21 Pro, I never can remember how much that thing cost. One, 150 160 I, I don't know, somewhere between 1 and 2 I'm pretty sure. And I think between $1 and $200 is a sweet spot to getting into getting into premium level now let's let's talk about premium level so here is my recommendation if you have not spent over a hundred dollars on a flashlight don't start with olight and i say that with love because i love olight start with you know lumen top or raylight or you know some of the other brands that kind of just run and dural they run so that that's that's one of my big things and that is going to be a topic for later is uis but today i wanted to just kind of bring everything together that we've talked about so far for all my newbies before we actually start turning this into a discussion instead of a learning opportunity so bringing it back to and dural so here, here's the big thing about about olight lights they're very easy to use, which a lot of people appreciate, but the features, you know, not, not mechanically, they do have some super bright flashlights. They do have awesome features, but the UI features, they're always the same and they don't run Andural. If you're running what Andural is, it's basically Android for a flashlight or, you know, iOS from an iPhone for a flashlight. It's got a bunch of modes. It's programmable. It's got all this cool stuff. And you feel like you get so much more for your money when you buy something that has that UI because it has all these extra cool flashes and features and lightning mode where it looks like it's storming and, you know, it's got the lightning flashes and just so much cool stuff that comes with Enduro. Yes, you pretty much have to have a decoder ring to be able to read the instructions, but that's what YouTube's for. And I, I eventually plan to make a video to help decode Enduro. But that's going to take a lot of time and effort because I'm going to have to shoot back and forth between the, the table and outside and yet whatnot. So I, I haven't I haven't tackled that yet, but we'll get there. So get you something between $1 and $200. I know. I know if you've been buying $20, $30, $40 flashlights and I'm saying buy something between $1 and $200, you're probably like, this dude is freaking nuts. But it, it's a way to get you to stop buying so many $20, $30, $40 flashlights. If you are buying these cheap $20 flashlights and you are breaking them every two or three months and you are buying another $20 flashlight, you could have bought a nice flashlight by now. And that goes for a lot of things. Clones, not talking bad about people who buy stuff that's a clone, but it's the same It's the same deal. By the time you buy three or four clones, you could have bought the real thing. And when it comes to premium flashlights, same thing. And now some premium flashlight brands like Olight, Lumintop, all these brands like kind of what I have on the table here, they do offer flashlights in the $20 range. I am not saying those are bad flashlights. Those are budget flashlights. Buy you something premium. And that is, that that will, and I know this is going to sound so counterintuitive, it will save you money because you will no longer buy every budget flashlight that comes out. You will wait until you see that next premium light that you want. And that is something I learned on the journey way too late because I was buying the cheap lights. I was like, oh man, this is, this is only $20. This is only $30. I got to have every I five. I got to have every I three. I got, and I'm just racking them up. And now I've got so many of them that I could give them away as presents for like 10 years. So, but, but it's okay because I don't, I just, you know, no regrets, no regrets whatsoever. I love my flashlights, but I probably wouldn't have bought so many of those if I'd have thought that out because then I'd been like, well, I'll save this 30 bucks or, you know, there's been some sales where I bought three or four I threes, I, I fives at the same time. If you don't know, that's Olight and those can be 20, 30, $40, especially for the premium or limited edition models. And if you think about five of those, which I have way more than five limited edition models at 40 to $50 a piece. That is more than enough money to buy a very nice premium flashlight. And um, yeah, I mean, I could turn around and sell them, but what's the fun in that? It's part of my collection. So why would I want to get rid of them? So all I'm saying, refine your taste, level up. You don't have to, listen, you don't have to go out there and spend $200. 
if that's if that's what you're taking this guy's trying to get me to open up my wallet i am not trust me i am not anybody who watches this channel will tell you that i am so bad at (laughs) self-promoting god i have an instagram that i hardly ever talk about i i really don't post on it too much i i really need to get better about that but Oh man, YouTube itself is such a grind. Instagram is just so much. I don't. I don't know. I, I have a hard time with Instagram. I prefer YouTube, but uh, I. I'm not trying to get you to spend money. I didn't. I'm not even telling you to use my links or my discount codes. It is very helpful if you'd like to, but I'm not even telling you to because I just want this for you. As part of your journey, don't let it end at budget flashlights. Think about that. You are starting this journey. You started this really nice journey. You got your backpack on. You're ready. You're ready to go dump the ring into the volcano. I mean, you're you're ready to rock and roll, and you stop in budget land and you never leave. That's not any fun. I mean, dabble, just just small increments. Look on, you know, look on the secondary market. Find you a flashlight or something that is. Oh man, this is a two hundred dollar flashlight. I just picked up used it looks brand new for a hundred and twenty dollars or a hundred dollars or whatever you spend for it just get yourself out of budget land and just trust me just trust me on this once you do that you will spend so much maybe not so much less money but you will spend less money because you're not going to buy all these budget flashlights all the time and that stuff i i swear i swear to you those add up and it is such a painstaking problem to be stuck in budget land buying every single budget flashlight that comes out. And then you see a premium flashlight and you're like, oh, that's too expensive. Well, it's because you spent all your money on the cheap ones. <laughs> oh, God, people are going to think I'm telling them they have to go buy premium flashlights. I swear to you, that is not what this is. We're talking about my journey and that's that's where I got stuck for a little while. It wasn't necessarily budget land, but I would buy so many of these flashlights just to try them or just to build up the collection or you know whatever I was thinking at the time and I would never have money to buy the premium stuff because I was always buying the cheap stuff or the budget stuff or the you know the less expensive stuff and that's a problem all by itself man I'm telling you that's almost that's border that's borderline hoarding when it comes to flashlights how many budget flashlights you got Uh, about 89 well yeah see see that's more flashlights than some people have in their entire collection (laughs) and you've got 90 flashlights that total $245. (laughs) $245. No, <laughs> no, no, no. And in, in, in all serious, all seriousness, let's, um, let's talk about that for like two seconds before we, before we wrap this up, because that's, that's, you know, that's getting towards, towards the end of like the journey for the things we've talked about. You, this is your journey. And you know, when it comes to flashlights and having these flashlight issues, you are definitely more than capable of making your own decisions. No one is trying to change your mind on what you think is best. But what I will say is budget land is real. It's real. Trust me, it's real. I was there. Pretty much everybody else that was here has probably been there. If you're not still there, getting out of it is hard. But it does start, you know, it starts more problems because then you're going to be looking at premium flashlights. The nice thing about that is you won't be buying them all the time. With premium flashlights, usually they do them in drops or, you know, they have release dates or whatever it is that they do. And you can wait. Like Olight usually releases new new versions or new variants once a month with during their, like the July sale, August sale, whatever, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, you can kind of, you can kind of, Take that to the bank and just know, okay, next month, Olight's going to have a sale and I might want to buy whatever the new this and that is. So let me put aside this amount of money. There are a million and a half budget flashlights that are in this community right now. You could endlessly buy them and never scratch the surface. So that's why premium is nice because you are able to, you know, kind of, you're able to just think it out. Generally for premium flashlights are not as readily available. So you have time to think on it, do your research, watch your videos and save for them. It doesn't have to be impulsive. You don't have to impulsively buy them to be able to do it. And now the thing about premium flashlights, getting on to the very, very last topic that we've talked about so far for the beginning of this journey, the it factor. If you're buying a premium flashlight, there probably is some kind of it factor. And, um, that, 
that is getting pretty close to like the the round part of your journey getting into this so um as far as you know any of these you see on the table you can see there's a common factor between a lot of them and that is the the material so i've got brass copper titanium copper 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 aluminum steel and aluminum and those are going to be like your main your main you know materials your main construction um, one of my it factors is absolutely copper. I also love polished titanium. I love zirconium, zircotai, mokotai. I, I love, I love finishes. That's one of my big things. Um, but copper, copper is the it factor. If it's got copper on it, I'll buy it. That's just, the, that's just what it is. And that is something you also develop at the end of the journey more than likely. And it will be nine times out of 10 when you step out of that price bubble. Because you're not going to find a lot of it factors in budget in budget land, budget world. You know, you're going to have to pop out the portal gun, get out of there and get into the more premium stuff. And then you are going to find, oh, wow, I did not know I wanted copper or I didn't know that I liked flashlights to have three emitters or, you know, polished titanium or 21700 batteries or something as small as this Robivon or you know, there's there's so many cool factors out there for things for premium flashlights that you're not. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna find in budget world, but you know, budget land doesn't have a lot of cool it factors, and they're kind of bland. But that's why they're budget. You know, they do the job, they do what they're supposed to do. But it's kind of like it's kind of like saving up all this money. You're in, you know, for let's say you have this dream car that you just want to buy, you want it to be brand new, you save up money for, I don't know, let's just say five years. You save up every little paycheck, every little penny that you can for five years, and you walk into the store, and you say, I want this car with none of the options. There's budget world. <laughs> that's that's budget land for you. It's it's They look really, really good, but they're not going to have any of the cool it factors. And that's something that you pay for. That's that's part of the price world. You know, as as sad as it is, I wish that you could go into a website and pick up this FW21 Pro. I wish you'd go pick up one of these for 50 bucks. I really do. I wish people could, I wish every single person could hold one of these in their hand and use it and go, wow. Because that's what, that's the one of the first things you're going to say. This is a very, very economical flashlight. Ergonomical, that's what I meant to say. Ergonomic flashlight. Um, that puts out 10,000 lumens. Now, if if anybody has never had a 10,000 lumen flashlight and you put that in their hand, they're going to love it immediately. That's why I, I do wish that the pricing of all this stuff wasn't so crazy, but that's that's just the world right now. And, it, you know, we kind of got to do, we got to live with it. We got to work with what we got. So, um, I hope all of that senseless ranting made sense you start your journey you start in budget land you eventually step out of it after finding the brands and stuff that you like of course and you you step out of budget land and then you start buying that more premium stuff you narrow down your it factor and then you're off to the races that's that's kind of the way it is that's that's the way it works and if you're not there yet i'm excited for you just got to take that first little step and and hone your taste and then you'll be ready to rock and roll you'll be up there with the big boys let's go ahead and wrap this one up we're almost at 30 minutes again god i can really ramble can't i i've just got so much i want to let out <laughs> you know i've got so much i want to say to you guys um this this series is so much fun so uh this was kind of just recapping the journey the beginning of the journey and uh my journey specifically because you know i i've done everything i've done it just like everybody else. So, um, for the next videos, now that I've kind of, now that I think, I think I've done a decent job at anybody who's going to be new, uh, to the flashlight world. I think the beginning of this series will give them a good little, I don't know, just kind of an, an infomercial into what they're getting into. So now we're going to start going a different direction with this flash of Hawks anonymous. Now we're going to start getting into 
um, the specifics of flashlights. So now we'll start looking at things like Endural and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I kind of did one video on batteries, but that was still like an informative video. So now we're going to start touching on some more advanced stuff. I've got, I think I've covered pretty much all the basics. Um, just things people would need to know just getting into this journey. So, uh, we can actually move on to some really cool stuff getting from here on out. I'm super, super stoked. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this series going at one video a week. I'm going to do my best. Some, sometimes I just, sometimes I literally just forget to record the video. So if it's been a week and you guys haven't seen a Flashaholics Anonymous video and you want to see one, just remind me. I might have forgot to, uh, you know, record one or upload one. So just be like, hey man, where's Flashaholics Anonymous video? I'm going to go, dang it. So then I'll get it recorded if I didn't already. So uh, we're all, we're all a family here. We're all a family. Um, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. We're at like 30 minutes. I am so sorry. It took so long. Like I said, I've just got a lot, got a lot. I got to let out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by listening to me rant, ramble and go on about all this flashlight stuff. I greatly appreciate it. I definitely, definitely could not do it without you. Make sure to like comment and subscribe. If you enjoyed what you watched, saw, heard all that good stuff. I'll catch you on the next one.